Coming up from the River Cottage Lockdown Kitchen, a spicy rice dish that's brilliant at taking up leftovers. It's my classic kedgeri. Welcome back to the River Cottage Lockdown Kitchen. And today I'm cooking a real family favorite. Sometimes it's kedgeri, sometimes it's vegery, sometimes it's meatery. But at the heart of it, three crucial ingredients. Always some rice, and this is brown rice, it's already cooked. A couple of onions, and some spice. And today I'm just using a straightforward curry powder. To give that a little bit of a boost, I've got a nugget of fresh ginger and some garlic, and then the chunky additions. I've got some leftover cooked fish. This is pollock that I had for supper last night, but tinned fish also works brilliantly for this dish. I've got three hard boiled eggs, and for a surprising bit of sweetness, a few sultanas. Let's go. Like so many great dishes, this one starts with onions sizzling in a pan. And these have been on for seven or eight minutes now. They're softening nicely and just starting to take a bit of color. I'm just grating my little nugget of ginger and I'm quite happy to leave the skin on. My garlic clove gets the same treatment, but that has been peeled. In goes the ginger and the garlic. And I'm going to cook them down for a few more minutes until they're nice and golden. Looking good. Don't be frightened to burn those onions just a little bit because that's how you get lots of caramelised sweetness. Now in goes the curry powder. I'm doing it by eye but a good old shake. And the raisins. Of course you can use a curry paste for this or make your own spice blend. Everything is coloured, well blended, the curry powder is cooked out nicely and it's ready for the rice. And it's this gorgeous mixture of fried onions, rice and a bit of spice that can be the base of so many delicious variations. And with that, a little knob of butter. Just gently tumble the rice around in the pan so everything's well mixed rice doesn't start to break up. Now at this point I could really add so many different things. I could keep it veggie, I could add a handful of peas, half a tin of beans maybe, any vegetable leftovers, even chopped up roast potatoes, carrots. The spinach is really brilliant in this dish. But today's version is pretty much a classic kedgeri, so it's about to get fishy. In goes the fish, leftover pollock, already cooked and flaked off the bone. My local fishmonger is doing deliveries at the moment, which is brilliant. And if you can buy fresh fish, it's a great way to support British fishermen, who, as you can imagine, are having quite a tough time at the moment. A second spoon becomes quite handy at this point turn everything together without breaking stuff up too much. That is pretty much done. To finish it off, I'm just going to grab a bunch of chives. This is the kind of dish I'm always really excited to eat. say, this one is lockdown delicious. <laughs>